Hola niños. So, <laughs> I've got no makeup on today. I really can't be asked. I'm not in the mood. I am in possibly one of the foulest. No, I'm not in a foul mood actually. I'm just having a bit of a, a, bit of a rough patch. Mm. But we thrive. Um, I'm really worried that Ollie's gonna wake up as well because she's having a nap and I'm like, well, I need to kind of pluck the um, opportunity to film a video. Um, so she might wake up. My room is literally the best room in terms of lighting, but the ugliest in the background. Oh my God, but Loki, I'm getting my room decorated soon. So that's exciting. Straight into the video. So today I'm doing, I'm going to be doing a non-essential essentials video. The babies. What I have found to be like products that are in no way essential, well, not in no way essential, but aren't like, you need that. But I physically couldn't live without, like I couldn't have got through it if I didn't have these. We're just gonna dive straight in. Um, so the first one that I, I think I've banged on about the, uh, quite a few of these, like a lot. Um, the first one is a foot muff. Now a foot muff, it, it goes in, you can, even, you can get two, two types. One for a car seat and one for an actual pram. And in the winter, because a lot of you are pregnant now, obviously I'm going to assume that most of you are going to be having winter babies. You, like, you do not understand, like, the ease, like, the absolute ease. Like, forget blankets, forget putting blankets over them, they kick them off. They kick them off. A foot muff, it's like a sleeping bag. It is literally a sleeping bag. I'll insert a couple photos here while I'm talking. It's literally, like, you just put it on and zip them up and it's, like, a fluffy, like cozy sleeping bag inside like it's incredible like i f i cannot like wow like, you don't have to take out you just leave it in there you just pop them in zip them up you're off like you're gone tada cannot stress and you can get them for so cheap on things like ebay amazon um i got the sorry guys i think i have fully moved um there my dad rang me and i can't get the camera back in the position i had it i'm gonna leave it there okay um you yeah, know i got mine um i got one the car seat foot muff muff in smith's toy store like in the baby bit and then i got the pram one for like 10 pound on ebay so there's like a little heads up to how cheap and inexpensive they are and it's a non-essential essential that i i physically i was so in love with when i had it um it was the, I, I used to say it on all my vlogs, so you might know what I'm on about. I will insert a photo here of what I am on about. Is the foam mat for the bath. Um, for when they're like newborns, little, like they can't sit up. Like they're just kind of like when they're in like the vegetable stage, where they're just like, do you get what I mean? Oh my God. Like I love them. The only thing that I didn't like, which is what I probably should have done, was get maybe another one. Um, it doesn't really last very long but surely just kind of grew so fast that i ended up obviously moving on to the next thing anyway quite reason not reasonably quick but there wasn't really any any rush to get another one um they literally just sit in the bath like it's just a it's literally just a foam mat and you don't have to fill the bath up that much whatsoever like literally just like that much water so it saves so much water with giving your child a bath because obviously generally i like to give all your bath every night as much as i possibly can um and that's it was so cheap i think it was something like 5.99 from smith's and i know you can get them online again because i saw them everywhere but i was like oh my god i've already got that and i they do so many colours. I had a pink one, obviously, because all these a girl. And gen like it was just a lifesaver. It was so easy. It's comfy for them. Like obviously because it absorbs the water, it will keep them nice and warm on their backs. Like it won't it will like absorb the warm water. Um it's generally just so cheap and so so useful. Like I couldn't I could not recommend it enough. Especially if you're doing it on a budget, which obviously I was. Single mum life. Um Oh yeah, and then for when they're older, the thing that I couldn't live without now when Ollie's having her bath, because I kind of have baths with her pretty much every night now because I am a whore for a bath. I'm a bath slut, I have to admit. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it already multiple times on my story. It is the bath seat, by the way, the one that Ollie's sat in now. And it is just so handy. Like, it's so handy. It was ch so cheap. It was 
10, 15 pound on eBay. Again, eBay is literally your lifesaver if you're doing things on a budget. Like I promise you that now. Like that cot, 90 pound with the mattress, with the bottom, with the cot bumpers, everything is amazing. Like eBay is your best friend. And speaking of cot bumpers, cot bumpers. Like obviously I know not, I'm more than aware that not everyone puts cot bumpers around their cot but I get so paranoid and the amount of times that I've walked into the bedroom after Audie's been having a nap and she sat there just with her legs out of the like the because it doesn't the bumper only kind of covers her top half so I've had to put a blanket I've already ordered some more bumpers to put at the bottom because I just love them so much like they are a lifesaver um the amount of times when I didn't have the cop bumper on that I'd walk in and she would just be there with her legs out or like her hand through the things. And I'm like, no, as she's getting bigger, the one thing that I do not want is to hear a massive scream and she's got her leg stuck or her arm stuck. Like, I'd rather pluck that paranoia in the ass whilst I can because it's just not worth it. Like, it's really just not worth it. Um... So cot bumpers, they're so cheap as well. Again, obviously you can get expensive ones, but it's really not worth it. Um, fifth non-essential essential that I actually don't know what I would have done if I never had got this, because I know that when I started looking into it, it there was so many mixed reviews because so many people, like the proper Karen kind of mums, um, were just like, no, like it slows down their development, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know, but Ollie was growing so fast, like, I was just like, no, I think I need to get this. So I got, as you guys have seen many a times on my channel, her baby walker. I am, I am just in love with her baby walker. It is so convenient. She can just stand there. Well, obviously now she kind of crawls everywhere, but I still put her in it when I need to. Like in the shower and things, she can stand running around the bathroom when I'm having a shower, so I can shower. When I'm doing my teeth, when I'm doing my makeup, like when I'm doing just my skincare, when I'm cooking my breakfast, when I'm doing her breakfast and her lunches and her dinners, it is just so convenient. And when she's getting tired, when it's kind of due her nap time, what I do is I take her in the garden, put her on like the flat concrete bit, I put another essential, which I will explain in a minute. Um, and she just runs around. She just runs around in her walker. She she develops like that movement of running, of like walking and she loves it. Like she loves it. And it's just, it's such a nice feeling seeing her thoroughly enjoying something. Highly, highly recommend the baby walkers to you so, so much. They do take up a bit of room. Um, because obviously they're like quite square and big, but I couldn't, I could not, physically, I could not live without it if I tried, so. And the next thing, um, which kind of, I touched upon then, is these bad boys. Now they're a bit muddy, not muddy, wrecked. She hasn't even had them a month yet. Um, they're from Juju Mama Baby, if you wanna go look at these i put these on her feet because obviously they're long socks are they the prettiest looking no we all know my style i wouldn't go for something like this but this is the only one that like the girl style that they do it's literally just a little sock with a shoe at the bottom so instead of putting shoes on them which they can easily just kick off at this age because their feet are so so tiny um it just stays on their feet so perfectly she can run around she can do what she likes and i do not have to worry about her hurting her feet scratching her feet them coming off don't get me wrong they do come off every now and again but nowhere near as much as an actual shoe or some a little pair of socks would and you don't have to worry about ruining their nice little frilly socks or whatever socks you have um and these are like 12.99 so yes expensive for them to just be ruined it within a month but 100% worth it because the safety side of it is just you can't put a price on safety I don't think with a child um next one um teether granules now i know people use things like amber bracelets i have got an amber bracelet for ollie but she's not big enough for it yet well she is but it still falls off for some reason so i'm like mm. so i might have to get a necklace because i really want to give that a go um but the teether granules the actual teether teething granules are amazing it's more for her dribble i haven't noticed that it really stops the pain because she still I still have to give her cowpaw when she's teething really badly but the dribble if girls 
mamas, we all know what the dribble is like when they're teething and it is quite frankly disgusting and I quite frankly didn't want to have to deal with being wet, just wet. It's not nice for her to be wet, especially when she's tired and I don't want to have to constantly get a change into another vest so she can have a nice little nap because she's damp. And But the teeth, the teeth and granules, literally, like, she, she doesn't dribble. Like, she doesn't, like, they are amazing. Like, I don't know, there is it's genuine sorcery, but I physically could not get through when Ollie teethed because, obviously, once they start teething, it's kind of just like a, it's one after the other. She's already got four. Her fifth one's coming through, I'm probably within a week or so. Um, and... I could not stress for you guys enough. You, they are lifesavers, absolute lifesavers. The next one, for the summer, so if obviously you're having a baby in the winter, this will be a bit redundant until like maybe like six months time. Um, but for next summer or now, if you're going away, I don't know, a sun hat with like the back on them, like you know when they come down, like so it's like a little like cap it comes down her neck and it just protects her so well because it's all right putting the little like bucket hats on them and she looks so cute but it doesn't protect her from the sun like it doesn't i don't feel like it does anyway it just protects her eyes um so one with the back is essential essential especially when they're tiny um because their skin's just too delicate and it's too delicate it's not worth the risk really so ollie's got a pretty ugly one i think it's ugly anyway well it's not she looks adorable with it on but when it's off her head i think it's the ugliest thing in the world um but it just protects her and i cannot stress it enough just i don't want ollie to burn because imagine like imagine when we burn it fucking hurts so imagine when their little skin burns I'm not taking them risks no then the last thing which is kind of an essential but it's not because some people don't really do active things with their child they kind of more take them into town and go for lunches and brunches like a baby carrier a baby carrier is so 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 useful like especially when i'm going on treks up to like tesco or going for a walk with my friends going down the beach a baby walker i can just put her on my chest and i can just go i can just go if it's too inconvenient for a pram she's on my chest we're off me and her gone if we're going to the shops like for example if I've, I've gone to ikea a couple times with her i've gone into town or like i've walked down to little or i'm taking the dog for a walk it's just so much easier to have them on your chest and especially going somewhere um I, when i took her down for a walk to the beach when they're older obviously they can face outwards and it's so good for their growth like it's so good for their growth to be able to see their surroundings to know everything like what's going on they learn so much that like, all you will look at the birds and laugh at the birds she'll be like <laughs> and i'm like honey you're gonna find them annoying soon um so a baby carrier 100 percent. you can get them for really cheap i've got like i've got a couple i've got a baby born one somewhere um i think i've lost it i'm not gonna lie um i've got this one which is a bit more of like a hikey one because my brother, he's in the Navy and he's obviously, I don't think I have to say more than that. He wants the best, the best all the time. And this is like a proper hiking one. Um, and it's got like a little C, like a bum back. It's, and it's from Simba, Simba. And then you, I've got just a cheapy one from Amazon for like 20 pound. Like that one was like 50. The, obviously the baby born ones are like around 70 to 80 pound because they're, insane you do prefer that one though so if if you're get if you're looking into get a baby carrier i 100 percent recommend that symbol one i will try and find it but obviously my brother bought it so i will try and find the link and yeah but yeah or you can get really cheap ones and they work just as well they work just as well they just don't have all the fancy things and if anything i find them easier because i'm really dumb but that is it that is as much as I could think of, I'm not gonna lie, there are obviously so much more, which if you want a part two, 100% let me know because I have so many requests to do a video like this all the time. Um, so if you want to know some more, if you want like a general essentials video, please let me know and I will do it because um, it is ba it's getting to baby season and I feel like I used to watch these all the time. I was a slut for videos like these. Let you know some more essentials. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you 
in the next one. Peace out.